Welcome back to the shop. I've got this axe head that's been sitting on my workbench for probably months now, and I've been using it as a as a metal base, as a heat shield, as a camera stand. I've been using it for everything but what the hell it's designed for. So anyway, I've got a I've got a handle for it. It's been sitting around for a while, and, and you know it's getting colder, so somebody somewhere is going to need an axe. So I might as well fix this thing and find somebody who's in need and give it to them. Um, because I don't need it here in South Florida. I don't have a fireplace and it doesn't really get that cold. So anyway, I figured today I'm just going to try to clean this up a little bit and I'm not sure how great content this is going to be. This is not going to be um, an, an exercise of just burning up sandpaper uh, because the, there's very deep pitting in here. There's just only so much you can do with these. And I don't think that it would be a wise use of my time to sit back and try to make this look super pretty, uh, like mirror shine or anything like that. I had a hatchet video, and a hatchet's quite a bit smaller than this, and I wasted a lot of time on it, and it just it just wasn't going to happen. So, so anyway, I think I learned from that one, and um, and I'm going to just try to clean this up as best as I can, as reasonably as I can, and I'm going to let you how much time let you know how much time I spent on it. And now it's uh, a little bit after 5:30, and. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how long it takes to, to clean something like this up and fit a handle on it. So, let's get started. Alright, so that's been through the sandblaster, and then I touched it up on the belt sander on the Kalamazoo. Let's see if I can get some of the high spots out of here. Uh, it's fit on there nicely, but it's... It seems like it's uh, a little short. I'm going to bring this over to the belt sander and sand it and then come back. Alright, so I've got that buried down to the point where it's starting to really hit where this expands at, and I don't want to get into that. Because I'm only about a quarter inch or shy of the top here, so I'm going to go ahead and set this wedge pin. I'm going to do that off camera. That hand sanding stuff is for the birds. Alright, so it's been about an hour and a half. I put the stain on here. This is a gel stain, cherry gel stain. I'll come back and follow up with some paste wax on this in a day or so. And I'll put some the paste wax, the same furniture paste wax on the head of this. I sharpened this up very briefly with the 220 grit belt sander. And that's probably more than enough, but I'll probably touch it up one more time when I'm done. But anyway, it took me about an hour and a half, start to finish, to put this all together. And I, I went ahead and potted the top of this with the two-part epoxy. That's going to really lock everything in there tight. I understand somebody's going to tell me I'm doing it wrong. This is not a how-to video. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. Uh, I appreciate the comments that everybody's going to say it should have been in at a 45-degree angle or it should have been in at a 47-degree angle or you should have used wood and then used some special... Anyway, everybody's got their own way. And, and fitting a handle is a pain in the ass. There's just nothing easy about it. It takes a lot of work, and I use power tools, and it's still a pain in the butt. I, I don't enjoy doing it, but I enjoy even less looking at a broken tool all day long. So anyway, I don't have an application for this myself, not down where I live now. 
But I have a field I know somebody who does, so anyway, this is going to get a, a bow on it for Christmas, and it's going to get put back to work. So anyway, I'm not too worried about the shine or anything on that, on this. I just wanted to sort of get the rust out of here that was in there, and then the, the paste wax will, will finish that all up. And I'm going to give this 5-minute epoxy probably 24 hours to dry before I come in here and skin that off. But anyway, I just want to get a little content up on the channel today. I've got a really neat project coming up, but I can't show it now because I'm not ready. So anyway, I'm really excited to show you that, but, but that's going to be a couple days, maybe a week or so, I don't know, before Christmas though for sure. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and have a good day.